Hi there, this is Lemmerock and I want to make a level transition for Half-Life Alex in Hammer 2. So for this sake I start the workshop tools and I simply use the sandbox project that I have created previously. When you see I have added just two playable maps to this project. Let's start this up. And I start the Hammer editor. I select the recent file map01. As you can see, it is a very simple setup. I have just put in a light and some light cube map. And to distinguish the map, I have used a texture with a 01 in there. Same thing is for the map2, but I have just changed the texture to 02 so we can distinguish them. So to have a, a level transition, you first need an info landmark entity in both of your maps. So I switch back to my first map. I go into the entity tool and I'm looking for an info underscore landmark. Just place this landmark somewhere in the visible space of the player here. And very important, give this a name. For example, LM for landmark. 01 underscore 02. And we have to have exactly the same one in the second map as well. So just get the info landmark, place it somewhere, and give it the same name. So LM underscore 01 underscore 02. This now fuses both of this, these maps together. And you now need in each of those maps so-called trigger underscore change level. This will well trigger the change level of that. Um, yeah, go to, to go into the block tool. And I put this simply here. Turn this block into a trigger by pressing Ctrl T and name it trigger change level. I'm in object mode and go into its properties. So this trigger does not necessarily need a name. You want to name it because you want to disable it or enable it um, how you want. But for this example, this is not um, necessary. So the new map name is the map name we want to transition to. So this is map underscore or O2. And the landmark we are using is that what we have already created. It appears here already, lm underscore 01 underscore 02. This is not disabled, this is enabled. So when I touch it, this will make a map load to the second map. But I need the same trigger in this map as well. Just put it somewhere else, but I won't use it. So show you, I create this. Go into the object mode, turn this into a trigger, change the class to trigger change level. Go again to my object mode to get into the properties. Don't give it a name, the new map name. If I would load, if I would want to load back to the other map, this would be map 01, and we have to have the na name of the landmark. It is weird um, if we do not have this trigger change level in the second map, um, the the trigger change level won't work from the first to the second map, so this is a must. We have to have this here. Um, yet I will take this into start disabled because I won't use it. So this is basically the setup that we need to make a transition. I first compile the second map with a fast compile. Should only take some seconds here. There we go. And now I compile the first map, also with a fast compile. And now when I walk to the trigger change level, it will pause and load the second map. So this is already everything we need for a simple map transition in Half-Life Alex. But there is something I want to add to this because this trigger change level um, transfers every 
um, object or even particle that is active that, that is active which is within the current uh, player visible space um, in this trigger so i'll show you what i mean i am looking for some object that i can place here so we'll make this into a prop physics or so this is just some random prop physics nothing to do with this special one here um and i make two of them here one of them basically here so when i compile this now and i make a map transition these two um, prop physics will be transferred so i see two of them i activate this trigger and both of them are here so they are in my visible space and are transferred to the second map as well so this may be a good thing if you want to have this but i would like to have some deterministic behavior on this because um, probably the player did some things with all the props th through them to different um, points and stuff and when we have the transition to the next uh, map those can be well they ba basically end up within a wall or something like that which is not very good for inversion here so i want to have a controlled um, transfer of my objects here the thing that we need for this is a so-called trigger underscore transition so i go back to my block tool and everything within this trigger will be transferred so like this big make a trigger out of it go into its properties and change it to a trigger transition now this is very important the trigger transition has to have the same name as our landmark so landmark 0102 so everything which is within this these boundaries of that trigger will be transferred um, please note that the the texture of this trigger is not automatically changed into a trigger texture so i just use the trigger texture here and assign it to this trigger so i know that this is actually my trigger and you also want to have one in your second map if you have the transition back to your um, first map so this is why i make one as well here and trigger transition with the same name as our landmark Right, so I first compile the second map. And I compile the first map. So here I have this Monica within the trigger transition, and this one is far outside of that so on this level transition everything that is within the uh, trigger transition is now transferred and I have a deterministic behavior for this all right so this is how you do a level transition in Half-Life Alex in the Hammer 2 tools so thanks for watching take it easy